Thor Odinson is the son of Odin and the god of thunder. He was Asgard's greatest warrior as well as their future king, and Thor has the power of the Yoda Force. The Yoda Force is the most powerful magic in existence, currently possessed by Odin, king of Asgard. It flows through the tree of life, and whoever wields the Yoda Odin Force can use it to fire powerful blasts of energy, teleport people, as well as boost the wielder's strength, speed, and durability. For his son Odin, however, Odin bestowed the hammer Mjolnir upon Thor. Mjolnir is a weapon forged by dwarves in the middle of a dying star. The dwarves use Uru, a metal seemingly indestructible, and has the power to harness the Odin force, create Mjolnir out of this hammer. And you know what I mean. Thor's hand, whenever it is needed, can summon Mjolnir. And also Mjolnir gives the users the power to control the elements like lightning and tornadoes as well as make it rain every now and then. Thor can also repel himself into the air and fly just by swinging Mjolnir's handle. However, Mjolnir is not the only weapon Thor wields. Thor can also wield the powerful axe known as Stormbreaker, which has all of Mjolnir's abilities, but ten times stronger than Mjolnir. With all these powers and abilities, however, Thor thought he was invincible because he was the Prince of Asgard and their strongest warrior. However, due to his cockiness and battle, Odin banished Thor to Earth and sent Mjolnir to Earth. But before doing so, he enchanted the hammer, saying, Whoever shall hold this hammer, if they be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Following a few events later, Thor regained his power and his status as the God of Thunder. And Thor has done quite amazing feats. He's killed Malekith, a dark elf who wielded the power of the Reality Stone, and who also defeated Thor's grandfather, Bor, son of, uh, you know, father of Odin. <laughs> he killed Thanos, who destroyed 50% of the universe, was a founding member of the Avengers, and survived the full power of a star 10 times bigger than our sun. But if Thor's powers aren't enough, he wields Mjolnir and Stormbreaker at the same time, making him even more powerful than Odin himself. His strength, speed, and durability are ten times more powerful. But with all this power comes a flaw. Thor is quite cocky, and his lust for battle usually makes him think he can take on anyone. And in doing so, can usually just head into battle without knowing what a plan is. But after all his after all he's done for Asgard and Earth, Thor was eventually crowned King of Asgard. Long live the God of Thunder. I accept your surrender.